You're welcome to class. I'm sure you all are doing great. Okay, we're going to be writing out our measurements. You can take your measurement because I am working with mine. First, you need the on the bust length. For me, it is 13 and the full length is 23. Then you have your shoulder measurements. You have your bust circumference. I'm working with 36. The on the bust circumference, 30. The waist circumference, 32. Now, what are we doing first? All your circumference measurements which are bust on the bust circumference on the waist, we're going to add 8 inches and divide by 4. You add 8 inches and divide by 4, or you divide by 4 and add 2. You're still going to get the same measurement. So do your calculations and let me do mine if you're working with a different measurement. So 36, let's say divided by 4, 11, 30 plus 8, divided by 4, 9.5, then 32 plus 8, 40, divided by 4 is 10. Now, in, the, in all those measurements, the IA circumference measurement is 11 inches. Now, we're going to, it means we'll fold our fabric with 11. But because it's a padded um, blouse, we are going to add extra 2 inches. So it means 11 inches plus 2 will give us 13. Now instead of folding 11, we will we'll not do that. We'll be folding 13 inches because it's a padded blouse. Now remember we added extra 2 inches. So the extra 2 inches we're going to hide it first. We are going to hide our 2 inches and then we have a normal measurement now which is 11 inches. Then we can go ahead and take all our measurements. So let's draft the measurement. To the length we we'll have 2 inches and that will give us 25. That's for folding. The other bust length is 13. The, the full length is now 25. So I'm using the whole of the pattern. So for 13, I'll make it 14 so I can um, have my seam allowance. Then the arm o length is 8.5 inches for this measurement. Shoulder divided by 2 is 7.5 inches. Then we have the bust. 11 inches is to be taken below the... 8.5 inches and here is the 11 inches then these are on the bust length so the under bust circumference will be taken below it like two inches below the under bust length so the under bust circumference is 9.5 inches and the waist which is then will be taken almost at the base of your pattern that is 10. We connect the points like this. Then for the shoulder, you first draw out an L shape to connect from the shoulder to the bust. Then you get the midpoint of 8.5 inches. That's 4.25. And you bring you come in by zero point five five inches. Then here at your angle ninety, you mark out one inch. Yeah. So you connect from the bust to your one inch, and then to your zero point five like this. So we are good. Then you connect the sides as well. Having done this, you can trace it out first. And you can um, remember your 2 inches is still hidden.
now that we have um, traced it out, we're going to unfold the extra two inches. And then we work with um, measurements, which is the nipple point. You have to measure this because it varies with size. From the under bust to the nipple point, this measurement is 3.5 inches. You can measure from the shoulder as well. You can measure from the shoulder to get your nipple points, and you can measure from under bust. And remember to slant with one inch, your one inch shoulder slope like this. Now the next thing to do is um, to fold that fabric using the bust span. For this measurement, it is seven inches, so that is four. So all I'm going to do is fold, I mean, seven inches to give us 3.5 plus 0 0.5 allowance. Yes, the 0 0.5 is allowance, so that will give us four. So here is my four folded. So you can trace out your points. Here is my nipple point from under bust. You can trace out the under bust as well. Now from the base, you are picking from the center front still. And you're measuring out 3.5. So you'll be left with 0 0.5. We folded 4. You are taking out 3.5. You'll be left with 0 0.5. So mark it out and that will stop at the under bust. So from the base, straight down like this. Then on the neckline, we are taking 2.5 inches, 2.5 inches. So you'll be left with 1.5 inches. From your under boss, you connect to the nipple point. From the nipple point, you connect to the neckline. So let's do that. So this is going to be um, a curve shape. I'm going to curve it out not um it's not a slant shape so you don't have a point because you you are supposed to have a curve so the way i'm tracing it out goes like that all the way to the base yeah and this is what this is what we have now we are going to be working with the middle piece only. All right. Another thing you can do is if you do not want to fold, you just measure out your four inches and then whatever measurements we have marked out here, you mark it out on one side and then you do the same on the other side. And if you want to follow this this um this step, you can do that. It really does not matter. It's you you get the same thing. Now we are working on the middle piece, and you can take the measurements depending on your choice and your neck neckline as well i took seven inches at the center and here is six inches you can either have a v neck a round neck a straight neck or what have you. you can take the depth of your choice maybe seven inches by six inches this is a v neck and this is what we are going to have at the center it is seven and at the side it is six so this is what a v-neck will look like and if you want it to be a curve shape you can still go with the measurement but you just you know it's a different shape this time around that's that's a round shape this is what you're going to have and if you want to go with a sweet at neck which is my favorite for padded <laughs> So that neck is my favorite neckline for bustiers, especially straight padded. So for the side, uh, of course, you need to go down more, like eight or seven inches, and the side could be five or six inches. 
and this is what you're gonna have for a sweet that neck so you can always go with any neckline of your choice the back remains the same and we are paying attention to the front which is the straight padded and we are done if this is your first time on this channel you can hit the subscribe button click the like leave your comments leave your comments in the comment section as well because i am always there to answer your comments your questions just leave it there i'm with you always to answer your questions to read your comments laugh and to enjoy